It's the NFL on EA Sports, where we'll see two of the NFL's oldest and most storied franchises. It's the Washington Commanders and the New York Giants. And it comes your way next. Let's go. Greetings from just across the New York, New Jersey border in New Jersey at MetLife Stadium here in East Rutherford. Set for a good matchup in one of the premier divisions in the NFL. Mike Tirico, Greg Olson with you. Greg, you never get a chance to really rebuild. Everyone wants you to win right now in this division. And they've been taking turns at the top of the division. 19 years since the Eagles repeated as division champ. Dallas won it last year. Who knows what we're in store for this season? Yeah, it just shows how hard it is to win year in and year out consistently in the NFL. The league is set up for parity. It's set up for teams that were last in the division. They have just as good a shot to win it the next year. And I think this is a two-horse race. Dallas, as you said, they won it last year. I think Philadelphia feels that this roster, this coaching staff coming back, has them in position to challenge Dallas I think right now New York and Washington find themselves on the bottom looking up, but I think the Eagles and the Cowboys, this could come all the way down to the end of the season. The Commanders come out with the man they hope leads them into their new era. Jaden Daniels, the number two overall pick in this past draft from LSU. Greg, this is the man who won the Heisman Trophy with the Tigers in Baton Rouge a year ago. Here we have a guy, Mike, who's probably one of the most dynamic athletes that we have in the entire NFL at the quarterback position. He can create so many problems for a defense with his legs, but make no mistake about it, he is far from one-dimensional. He's both willing and able to carve a defense up with his arm while using his legs as more of a secondary weapon. If there's one knock on his game at this very moment, it's the fact that occasionally He'll kind of lay one up from time to time. Nonetheless, if he's on his A game in this one, we could be in for a real treat. Just take what the defense is giving you, and you can stay ahead of the chains and just take these easy pitch and catch throws underneath, hitch routes, quick game. Now it puts you in a lot more favorable down and distances to eventually attack this defense a little bit more downfield. Oh, no, right at the start, he loses the football. And the defense has it. Mike, we hear that term run after catch so often, and sometimes people miss that there's kind of a middle phase. There's the catch, but before it turns into a run, you have to secure the ball as a ball carrier, right? It needs to be put away, properly held, points of pressure, front tip up against your body. All of that is kind of taken for granted. Catching it is just step one. You've got to secure the ball before you become a runner. The Giants, let out by their quarterback, Daniel Jones, here he is. It's year six in the NFL. He was the sixth overall pick back in 2019 out of Duke. And Jones still at the helm for the Giants. Here's what you call a little bit of a polarizing player, Mike. His career has been a bit of a mixed bag after being a first-round pick a few years back. At times, he looks like a bona fide franchise quarterback. At others, he looks like a guy who's still trying to find his way and take that next step. It's the consistency. That's the biggest issue. If that changes, man, he'll finally be able to reach his full potential. Here's a second and six. Working from the gun, it's Jones. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. Really nice play there by Malik Neighbors. And when we talked to the head coach, Brian Dable, what did he tell us? He said, I need more competitive guys. I need guys that are going to go out there and compete for the ball, play in and play out. And remember, Mike, this is a guy that led college football in yards per game last year at over 120 yards receiving per game. So they got themselves a pretty... Oh, he's going to be bottled up and taken down. They got him. Cleveland Furl, former fourth overall pick of the Raiders, gets in there for the sack. Looked like a pass protection breakdown. They had five offensive linemen and a running back in the backfield. I promise you, somebody was assigned to that linebacker, but he timed the blitz perfectly. He ran through and was able to bring him down for a big sack. 
Here's the man signed from Houston. It's Devin Singletary. He'll get about three, and that's going to lead to third down. Third and long. Shotgun now for Jones. He'll try to run for it. And that's a great job defensively here on third down. Not only taking away all the options down the field through the air, but when the quarterback decides to turn into a runner himself, they're able to converge and make the play and keep him short of the first down. Here comes Greg Joseph and the field goal unit. This one from 43 yards away. Joseph's kick is good. And the Giants are out to an early 3-0 lead. And I think this is going to end up being considered a successful drive, Mike. I think, obviously, you would have loved to see them come down and convert and score a touchdown. But at the very least, they needed to come away with three. They were able to do that and take a lead on that field goal. So after the field goal to open up the scoring, the kicker's back out for this kickoff. Austin Eckler now to return. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The commander's offense ready now for their second drive. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides as this drive kicks off with first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Daniel. Quick throw, taken in. And they'll be set up now. Up past the 40 with that one. Rookie to rookie right there, Mike. And I'll tell you what, they've got some really good young pieces on this roster. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and 10. First carry of the game for Brian Robinson. And he is going to be stuffed well behind the line of scrimmage. That play going absolutely nowhere. Every team makes an emphasis on winning first down. But as a defense, when you're able to take them back for a loss, second and long, you can really become more of a pass-centric defense and really tips the scales into your favor. On second down, it's Daniel. Oh, in trouble. Down he goes. The best thing they did here, Mike, is keep their rush lane integrity. What that means is you have to rush the quarterback as a unit. Keep him in the pocket. Keep him on that X. And when you do, man, he becomes a sit and duck for this pass rush. Work to do following the sack. It is third and long. Operating from the gun, it's Daniels. And he's not going to get away. They track him down. They just don't have an answer right now offensively for this guy. I mean, he has completely taken over this drive. And barring some sort of adjustment offensively, I think he could take over the rest of this game. On fourth down, the commander is going to send out their veteran Tress Way to punt. Amir Smith Marset goes back to return it. And he'll be brought down. Short return. And they'll take over there. The Giants offense ready to see what they can do on their second possession. They had the field goal on the opening drive to take the early lead, see if they can improve on it here. 3-0 is our score, and it's first and 10. From the gun, it's Jones. 
This one is caught by Robinson. They'll come up now for second down and four. On second down, it's Singletary. And he'll bring this up to the 48-yard line, and that's a first down. I think this second down call, Mike, they were hoping that at worst they had themselves set up for a third down and short. But there's no need for third down. He was able to get enough on second, and they get a fresh set of downs. On first down, Jones. Now a short one caught by the tight end, Johnson. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. The drag route. We used to say this is day one install. Every single offense in the NFL has this sort of route, especially for the tight end position. And depending on the speed and the run after catch ability of the tight end, sometimes it can lead to some of the biggest gains. And it doesn't appear that he got to that first down marker. They'll only give him a yard, so it'll set up third down. He'll try and run for the first with Singletary. And he will have a Giants first down. They're able to convert by plenty on that third and one. Really just the same approach that an offense would take on a quarterback sneak, Mike. You don't necessarily have to spring them for a huge gain. Can you buy just enough space up front to pick up one yard? That's exactly what they did. Pick up the first down. Jones now on first down. A short one there to Bellinger. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. So the hope is when you call these underneath drag routes, you're trying to have your tight end come out the backside of the defense in space. So when you put the ball on them early, it leads to big yards after the catch. In this case, they don't get the real big play they were hoping for, but they'll definitely take it. That's caught left side by Bellinger. It'll be out of bounds. It's a gain of four, and that gains them another first down. One of the easiest ways to negate these really good pass rushes in the NFL, Mike, is just to simply get the ball out of the quarterback's hand as fast as possible. And sometimes it's by design. Sometimes it's based on need. But really nice job there by the quarterback, getting into the hands of his receiver and then see what he can do after the catch. He runs with it. <laughs> And he's going to be taken down. This has been a great drive, and mostly at the hands of the man with the ball there. He thought about pulling the trigger on that one, thought better of it, decides to take off with his legs, and now he's going to have first and goal. They've got it at the eight, first down and goal. They'll run here with Singletary. Down to the four, it'll be second and goal. Again, it'll be Singletary. Mm -hmm. He'll get a couple, mark them down at the three. Last drive yielded three. They'd like more. Let's see what happens on third and goal. Throwing Jones. And that is incomplete. Just a couple plays ago, Mike, it felt like a touchdown was kind of inevitable. They were doing everything they wanted as they marched the length of the field. And then as they got down here close to the red zone and that field condenses, they started getting sloppy in their execution. Now, what do they do on fourth down? Do they try to keep their offense out there and extend the drive? Or do they settle for three? And he'll take it on in. 
Wondale Robinson. Touchdown, New York. Now, remember back, Mike, their first drive, they had to settle for three. So they definitely didn't want to have to do that again. So really solid drive from start to end. And they're finally able to cap it off with a touchdown. Here's Greg Joseph for the extra point. He's got it. And the Giants are out to a 10-0 lead. The kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away here's Eckler on the return he'll work his way across the 25 yard line here comes the Washington offense now they get set to take over the deficit is at 10 so an important drive forthcoming getting started with first and 10 Working out of the gun, it's Daniels. Thrown left side, the catch is made. And a big strike for good yardage there, all the way up to midfield. Really nice job there to move the chains early in this drive, but now as they approach midfield, continue to keep your foot on the gas. Don't get conservative. Don't start sitting on the ball. Cross midfield and go. Anytime you find yourself in your opponent's side of the field, you have to be thinking points. Play action. Here's Daniels. He's going to keep it himself. And he slides and covers up at the end, avoids the hit, and picked up decent yardage along the way. Take a look at his eyes. You can see the quarterback clearly going through all of his progressions, and he's quick to realize there's nowhere to go with this ball. He makes the right decision and gets out of there, picks up some good yardage, and gets down on the ground. On the option, here's Robinson. And he's going to struggle to get back to the line, maybe a yard. That's Bobby Okereke there for the stop. They'll look to pick this up, third and a yard. The tight end, Ertz, in motion. He'll try to run for it with Robinson. And he'll work his way down to the 32-yard line. And that is enough for a first down. Nothing real fancy about this call here, Mike, right? And this third and short, just get the ball to your running back, make sure he has enough space to pick up the first down, and they're able to convert. Set to go now on first and 10. Daniels now going to look to throw. Now he'll run. And he'll get this forward for positive yardage as he covers up in the end. Well, we've seen time and time again just how dangerous this quarterback can be, Mike, when he decides to tuck it and take off. So that is a great job defensively to rally to the football and hold him to just a short game. They're running here with Robinson. And he is crushed in the backfield. Defenders firing through. Shut it down right away for a loss of yardage. Well, as been the case this entire first half, it's been the defense that's really carried the load for this team. Some offensive struggles, but they've done more than their part coming through again with another big stop for a loss. On third down, they'll throw with Daniels. Open man downfield is Brown. It's been a busy first quarter for him so far. His third catch goes for a first down. 
We've now seen this quarterback show that he can beat you from both inside and now outside of the pocket. The ability to use his legs to flush out and buy time for his receivers. They uncover downfield, leads to a big pickup. So not quite first and goal. It's first and 10. They're pretty close. Man in motion is Brown. They'll run with Robinson. And this is a good run. He gets back down to about the six-yard line. They'll go again with Robinson. Hard running, close to the goal line, but they're going to mark him just short. Looking for a third, third down conversion on this drive, and they only need a foot. From the shotgun on third down, Daniel. He puts it up, and it's caught. John Bates, touchdown commanders. Greg, it's the quarterback's best friend, and you were that guy for a lot of years. The tight end in a tight area with man coverage. Yeah, and it's really twofold, Mike, right? First and foremost, we see so many of these tight ends around the league that now have gotten to the point where one-on-one -on -one matchups, that's advantage offense. But then even in the cases they don't create great separation, Mike, it's their size, their catch radius. It's such a friendly target for the quarterback that when things get tight in the red zone, they look to the tight end. Seibert now following the touchdown. He's out to kick it away. This returnable from the four. Oh, he's got room past the 30. Nice job on the return. He's down close to the 35-yard line. The Giants offense ready to see what they can do with this next possession. They lead by a field goal as they go to work with a first and 10. Back to throw is Jones. This one on target for Johnson. And he'll get about eight on that one. Most of it coming after the catch. It's second down. The drag route is such a good way to get the ball early into the hands of your tight end and take some pressure off the quarterback and give him an easy completion. The size and the athleticism allows them to try to pick up more yards, but do it after the catch. And they get this one across midfield to the 47-yard line. This offense has to be thrilled, Mike, with the success they've had here on the ground in this opening quarter. Now as the rest of the game unfolds, everything in the game plan continues to open up. First and 10. They'll go back to Singletary on first down. And they're going to get him down this time. Not as easy as the last carry. This time they drop him behind the line of scrimmage. Second down. The speed and the get-off by the big interior defensive tackle, Mike. I mean, he got through there so fast, he almost took the handoff himself. Lost one on the last play, so now it's second and 11. He'll get it into the hands of Slayton. And they'll hold him to a gain of just a couple and sets up third down. Right, 
Here's Jones to throw. He's going to find his receiver. It's Robinson. And he's going to be taken down right at the 25-yard line. So a big third down hookup takes us to the break. 10-7 is the score. More from MetLife Stadium after this. Now Singletary. And he'll get two on this one before being taken down. Look him up on a second down and eight. Now Jones. Work in the middle of the field, but that is incomplete. A rare miss for a quarterback that we've seen really come out on fire throughout this entire contest. I mean, his completion percentage, Mike, is well above league average, and frankly, it's really the biggest reason why they find themselves out in front. Throwing is Jones on third down. This is caught at the two. To the goal line and in. Jalen Hyatt. Touchdown, Giants. You know, Mike, at this level, not all touchdowns are created equal. There are some plays that result in touchdowns, and then there are touchdown strikes. And this one is the latter. I mean, you talk about a confidently thrown ball on the money downfield. It doesn't get a lot better than this, and his receiver is able to take it in for six. On is Joseph for the extra point. It's up and through. And the Giants will get out in front 17-7. to Both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. On the return, Noah Igbenogany. And he is stopped at the 25. The drive will begin there. The commander's offense headed back to take over once more. They find themselves down 17-7 as this drive starts first and 10. Motion man here is McClure. And he's not going to get too far tackled after a gain of just a yard. Here's second and nine. Throwing is Daniel. That's a short one caught by Sinnott. They'll mark him down up at the 44-yard line. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play, and it wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion, and then really it's the yards after catch that did the rest, and that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. That's over the middle, complete to Brown. 
And they'll have it across midfield down at the opposing 46-yard line. Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes of the defense were. Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass. Get past the first down marker, be friendly to the quarterback, and then the ball has to be out on time before those zone defenders can react to the receiver. It's exactly how it played out here. You can drop all the fancy plays you want, but when the quarterback and the receiver see it through the same set of eyes, it's virtually impossible to stop. Where a defender makes his tackles tells you a lot about his abilities. And for an interior defensive lineman, Mike, to make plays on the outside of the formation just speaks to his speed, his effort, his ability to run down the line. And we saw it here, and he takes the back down for a loss. A sideline throw looked in by McLaurin. These are the play calls, Mike, that offensive coordinators use to just get their quarterback and their passing game into some sort of rhythm. Easy pitch and catch, get the ball out of his hand, see a completion. These typically, as the game goes on, lead to bigger and bigger gains. On third down, it's Robinson. That's going to be pretty close. Looks like he's got it, and he does. First down. In real time from up here, Mike, I couldn't tell whether or not he got it at first glance, but I think after seeing the replays we have up here, it looked like he and his blockers got just enough, and they're going to be able to keep this drive alive. Daniels now on first down. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. It's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say, well, their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand. So it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes at a highly efficient rate. Open man left side is Brown. He's got it. And they will take him down at the 20-yard line. These comebacks, they require a lot of trust and timing from everybody involved. If the quarterback's a little too early, the receiver's not out of his break. But if the quarterback's a little too late, that's when disaster can strike. So give credit. Really well-timed. Really nice job by both guys. Slot man in motion left. On play action, Daniels. And he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. That's going to go down as a sack and a loss of a couple. Brian Burns with the sack, and that's exactly the type of play the Giants envisioned when they traded for him from Carolina back in March. Only eight sacks a season ago, and the question was, was that production indicative of him as a player or more of his surroundings? But either way, he's picked up right where he left off, and he's one of the best pass rushers in the entire league. Man in motion is Brown. On second down, it's a run with Robinson. He'll pop this ahead for about four, but it will set up third down. From the shotgun, it's Daniel. That is hauled in at the five. And the Commanders are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. Jaden Daniels, you look at his time at LSU, Mike, and he certainly had great wide receivers to throw to. But now being a rookie quarterback and having the veteran presence of a guy like Terry McLaurin, that is such a comfort for any young quarterback getting his feet under him in this league. And this one's blown up. It's back at the five-yard line now. This is what every defense in the league is shooting for, Mike. Negative plays. That's how you kill drives. Force teams to play from behind the sticks. Great job here. Taking them down for a loss. Back to the five-yard line now. Second down and goal. Operating from the gun, it's Daniels. And he's in. Luke McCaffrey. Touchdown, Washington.
Here's Seibert now for the point after. It's up and good. And the Commanders are back to within a field goal. It's 17-14. Seibert now following the touchdown. He's out to kick it away. On the return, it is Tyrone Tracy. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Giants offense ready to take over possession of the football. They'll start it here with a first and 10. Working from the gun, it's Jones. That one pinballs around, but it is incomplete. Malik Neighbors, the intended receiver. And it'll bring up second down. You know, there's a fine line between trusting your arm and having a little bit too much faith in your arm, right? I think this is one of those situations here, Mike, where there was nowhere to go with the ball. He tries to fit that one in there anyway. Oh, they're on him in a flash, and he's lost the football. And it's recovered by one of his teammates. Sometimes these games in the NFL, Mike, they get decided by simply how the ball bounces. I mean, how often do we see a quarterback in the pocket get strip sack, and that ball ends up going the other direction? Fortunately for them, they can regroup, get back in the huddle, and live another day. Ball falls into the hands of his own guy, and they'll see if they can dodge this bullet. And they will continue to go backwards. He's taken down for a sack. I'm always curious how defenses come back on the field after allowing a touchdown on the previous possession. And so far, I'm liking what I see. There's no heads being held low. There's no dwelling and thinking back to that last drive. They've come out and completely dominated this next possession. So on fourth down, out is Jamie Gillen to punt for the Giants. Alameda Zacchaeus deep to return. Crazy. And good coverage by the punt team. They stop him before he can get any return cranked up. The commander's offense ready to get back at it. They'll start out first down and 10. Here's Daniels. That's caught downfield. McLaurin brings it in. A nice throw by the rookie from LSU. And he's got his team a first down. Those are the explosive pass plays that this team is going to continue to mine all day. And you can see pre-snap, the quarterback loved his matchup. He allowed his receiver to work downfield. Perfect throw and now sets them up to try to see if they can finish this drive off with some points. So they come to the line for first down and 10. The tight end Ertz in motion. And they'll run out of the gun. Here comes Robinson. And he'll get back maybe to the line of scrimmage, but probably going to be a loss of a yard here. This play here, Mike, is just all about the get off of the defensive line. Watch how fast they go when that ball is snapped. Nowhere for this running back except to go down for a loss. They'll go play action here with Daniel. In trouble, and down he goes. 
This is the epitome of team defense. Not only are you able to rush the passer and put relentless pressure on him play after play, but the coverage on the back end is so tight. There's just nowhere for the quarterback to go with the ball. You see him just continue to hold the ball that extra second in the pocket. And with the way these guys are pass rushing, that's all the time they need. So backed up after the sack, and now it's third and long. What a run. He brings it to the red zone, taken down inside the 20-yard line. There was a lot of questions surrounding this quarterback about whether his style of play from college would transfer to the NFL game. Well, his ability to create with his legs certainly has here today. We see it with his ability to escape pressure out of the pocket, and he's able to pick up the first down. On the ground, it's Robinson. The hole closes quickly. He'll pick up about three. They face second down and seven. Now Daniels. And he's going to go down yet again. He has been under fire all game long. If they win this game, this pass rush is going to be a big reason why. The five sacks speak for itself, but their ability to disrupt the timing of this offense, that can't be overstated. What can they do here? This is third and forever. To throw is Daniels. He'll let this go deep for the end zone. Terry McLaurin, the intended target on that one. And it's going to lead to a fourth down. So I like the aggressiveness of the call, but as the rest of the game unfolds, Mike, there needs to be better overall execution. A little bit cleaner. Next thing you know, they're going to hit some of those big shots. Cybird's kick is good. And the Commanders have tied it at 17. And that's really well done here, Mike. I mean, everything's in rhythm. A good snap, a good hold, and a good kick ties this game. So the field goal ties things up, and we're back at it as this kicks away. Tracy now to return it. He's across the 20, taken down just shy of the 25. Here's the Giants offense. Now they get set to take over once more. They'll work in a tie game here in the second quarter and get started with first and 10. to throw. It's Jones. Now a short one caught by the tight end, Johnson. And he'll be brought down, but not before they get this all the way up near midfield. We've really seen both teams have a lot of success moving the ball throughout this entire first half, and just seems this possession's going to be more of the same as they start this drive. They'll come up here first and ten. From the gun, it's a give to Singletary. He'll move the pile forward. Let's give him a couple. Frankie Louvu there to make the play defensively. Second down and eight. Shotgun now for Jones. He gets that complete downfield to Slayton. 
And he's into the end zone. Darius Slayton. Touchdown, New York. And the show continues. What a first half he's had, Greg. A third touchdown pass with that one. Mike, what stood out to me the most so far is just the amount of space these guys have had to operate in. I think if I'm this defensive coordinator, me and my staff at halftime are revisiting this game plan. They obviously felt good about it coming in, but I don't think there's anything to feel good about thus far. Here's Joseph now for the extra point. He's got it. And the Giants will go up by seven. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. Here's Eckler on the return. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The commander's offense ready for this next possession. They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down. Working out of the gun, it's Daniels. And he's not going to get too far tackled after a gain of just a yard. All right, so there's really three areas that a modern NFL running back has to excel at. Number one, the traditional handoffs. Number two, you have to be excellent and reliable in pass protection. And maybe bigger than all of them, you have to be at least serviceable out of the backfield in the passing game. A run here with the veteran. It's Austin Eckler. He'll get this ahead for about three. That's Bobby Okereke there for the stop. Here comes third and six. Throwing that, Daniel. And he's very close to a first down, but it doesn't look like he got there. And yes, they're going to mark him a yard short. When you're willing to throw the ball short of the sticks on third down, you know what that tells me, Mike? The decision to go for it on fourth down has already been made. If you're able to pick it up with yards after the catch, great. But if not, it's a fourth and short, and you give yourself a realistic shot of converting on this fourth down. A uh, fair catch signal and taken at about the 18-yard line. The Giants offense and receiver Darius Slayton get to go to work again. They lead by a touchdown as this drive begins with first and 10. They motion a receiver right. The drive starts with a carry by Singletary. About 15 yards to kick off the drive. It's a first down. The offensive line doing a great job opening these run lanes. They have been there this entire first half. And I think if I'm this play caller, until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away, I think I'm just going to keep turning around and handing it to that guy. They'll motion their tight end, Johnson. They'll run once more with Singletary. And he slips through an opening. Winds up getting about eight. That is past the 40-yard line. Here's second and two. That's to Robinson. He's got it. 
And he'll be taken down as we tick down to the two-minute warning. So, two minutes to play in a back-and-forth first half. We'll come back to MetLife Stadium after this. A couple of first downs, and the football's out to the 48-yard line as they come up first and 10. This one is caught by Robinson. And he's not going to get too far tackled after a gain of just a yard. Similar to a tight end, the slot receiver is often considered the safety blanket. He makes all the difficult catches, tends to be a little bit more around the line of scrimmage, and so far today, he's certainly lived up to that reputation. From the gun, it's Jones. Open man downfield, that's Neighbors. And he's going to be taken down at the 30-yard line. And now you can see they're really getting in rhythm in this two-minute drive. Now, after that last completion, Mike, they cross midfield. Now the mindset goes to, all right, we got to come away with some points. They've got a quarterback who's in complete control, and they got to see if they can finish this thing off. Again, they'll throw with Jones. To the outside, complete to Johnson. Give them 17 more, and they are on a roll. Another first down. It's like a textbook, methodical, efficient NFL drive. Four for four, throwing the ball, mixing in some run. You're just marching the ball downfield at your will, and they get a fresh set of downs now to see if they can convert this nice drive into some points. He pulls it in around the five, and he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. And this is where the versatility of the tight end position really starts coming into play. Not only do they have to line up with their hand on the ground, but they can occasionally split out in the slot. And man, they're too fast for linebackers, and a lot of times they're too big for defensive backs. Second and a yard. Jones to the air again. And he'll take it on in. Devin Singletary. Touchdown, New York. He has done it again. That is four touchdown passes in this first half. Greg, he might skip halftime with the way he's performing right now. Yeah, and Mike, this passing attack is just really unstoppable. I mean, it is just remarkable the success he's been able to have. We're not even at halftime yet. He finds himself on record pace. I can't wait to see what he does the rest of this game. On is Joseph for the extra point. He gets it to go. And the Giants add on one more as they extend their second quarter lead. Still a little time. Final minute of this first half. We'll see if they can do anything with this kickoff that is coming their way. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. Here comes the number two overall pick, Jaden Daniels, with the rest of the commander's offense. And he's had things all his way in the first half. Those numbers are sensational. He looks to add to him with another drive here. Here's first and ten. Daniels now going to look to throw. That's over the middle and intercepted. Picked up by Bobby Okereke. And he is going to score. A pick six for the touchdown. And they extend the lead. The defense joining the party 
A pick six for a touchdown. Greg, they are extending this lead out. Yeah, now you've just seen both sides just make their impact felt here in the first half. The offense has done their part, and now it's the defense that is able to capitalize on the turnover and take it all the way back for the pick six. Here's Joseph now for the extra point. The kick is good. And the Giants are going to extend their lead. They didn't leave much time on the clock to put together a drive here at the end of the first half. And the kickoff's coming their way. Here's Eckler on the return. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drop. The visitor's offense going to get it one last time here late in the opening half. They find themselves down three touchdowns here. Needing to flip the script in a hurry. And they'll start it here on first down. Throwing is Daniels. To the outside, catch made by Brown. 13 yards to start that drive. And a quick first down. It's been a rough first half, but now as we approach halftime, Mike, you got to start getting some wins, and it could be something small like we just saw here. Some positive plays, build a little confidence on that sideline, so as you go into halftime, you have something to build on. Now pass deep for McLaurin. That's hard! And he will go all the way. Perry McLaurin. Touchdown, Commanders. That is just a complete disaster. I mean, we're in the final seconds of the first half, Mike, and you give up a huge explosive play that results in a touchdown. No matter what you've done all half, it completely changes the game. Seibert out now for the extra point. He's got it. And the Commanders are able to edge a bit closer. They didn't leave much time on the clock to put together a drive here at the end of the first half. And the kickoff's coming their way. A couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And a nice run. Get them about nine. It'll bring up second down. He'll keep it on the ground here again. And he's going to be taken down as time runs out on this first half of play. So we've reached halftime here in Jersey with the Giants on top. 
as we get you down to Florida, Orlando specifically, it's where the coach is, Jonathan Coachman, has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Michael, thanks very much as we welcome you into our downtown Orlando studios and the EA Sports halftime report. The Giants got solid play out of their quarterback in that first half. That's Daniel Jones. He was on point repeatedly, ultimately finishing with four touchdown passes in those first two quarters alone. Coach, thank you. Not a rest at the break for the defensive coordinators trying to figure out how to stop these offenses as we get ready for the second half. Third quarter set to commence. And we're back underway here on EA Sports. Tracy now to return it. Now an opening past the 30. And he's brought down right at the 35-yard line. The home team's offense and Daniel Jones ready to get going once more. And he's been as good as advertised. Take you through some of the highlights. Four touchdown passes on point with his receivers right throughout and continuing to master running and executing this offense. From the 35, it's first and 10. He'll give it to Singletary to begin this drive. And he'll get forward for about a yard. The veteran Bobby Wagner in there on the stop. Here's a second and nine. Back to throw is Jones. Quick slant looked in by Neighbors. Still going inside the 20. And he will score. Malik Neighbors. Touchdown, Giants. A terrific job all the way around, especially after the catch, Greg, to take it to the end zone for a touchdown. I'm just so impressed by the acceleration of this receiver, Mike. He catches what is a short pass, and he's able to turn it up the field and take it all the way for six. That is an impressive play, run after catch. On is Joseph for the extra point. The kick is good. And the Giants will extend this third quarter lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Here's Eckler on the return. And their drive will begin at the 30-yard line. There's Terry McLaurin and the commander's offense heading out for their next possession. And you see the numbers for him into this third quarter. They just pop off the screen. He has been open and electric throughout. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. They'll throw with Daniels. Downfield, there's the veteran Ertz. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. Well, he certainly didn't look like a rookie on that long completion, Mike. Not only his ability to scan the field and find his favorable matchup, but he was able to hit his downfield target in the perfect spot that led to that big game. Now a first and 10 from the 38-yard line. Play action. Here's Daniels. That one complete to Brian Robinson. 
And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. Great example of first down efficiency. You don't always have to go for the big play, but put yourself in a friendly second down. Now you have equal opportunity to both run and pass. They'll work now on second and four. Operating from the gun, it's Daniels. And it'll be a short pickup that's not enough for the first down. This is one of those throws where you're hoping you do most of the damage after the catch, but give credit to the defense. Once that ball was caught, they were on him quickly, and there was nowhere for him to go after the catch. They'll look to pick this up third and a yard. Give to Robinson from the pistol. And he will have the commander's first down. They're able to convert on third and short, picking up four. Off the play fake, here's Daniels. Just trying to avoid the rush there. He's hit as he threw in the pass is incomplete. Nice example there, Mike, of the quarterback just being smart with the ball, understanding it didn't quite develop the way he had intended. Throw that ball out of harm's way, live to play another down. We'll try again. It's second and ten. On play action, Daniels. That's a short one caught by Sinnott. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. There's no more efficient play in the NFL, Mike, than the play-action passing game. And you can see here why. You make the defense have to honor both the run and the pass. And he's able to pick up a nice game to his tight end. On third down, they'll throw with Daniels. He's got it inside the five. And he's very close to a touchdown. They mark him just shy of the goal line. That is such a critical area on the field, Mike, between the hash marks and the numbers. Everyone wants to control the middle of the field. Every offense is targeting it. So what does the defense do? They really pack it. So for a quarterback to be able to put this ball out on the perimeter, it just really stresses these defenses, especially in their coverages. The tight end Ertz in motion. They'll run with Robinson. And he will take this one across into the end zone. Brian Robinson. Touchdown, Washington. We were talking during the break, Mike. We felt that this was kind of a do-or-die drive. They felt like they needed to come away with the touchdown here. And now they're showing a little life. Yeah, a little, little bit of belief, don't you think? Everyone on that field knows they've been a part of a comeback before. It's a pretty big mountain, but a good way to get started here to begin this half. Here's Seibert now for the point after. He knocks it through. And the commanders are able to cut into the deficit. Seibert now following the touchdown. He's out to kick it away. Very good kickoff. Returnable from the four. And he'll be brought down right around the 25-yard line. The home team's offense ready to come back out for this next possession. Hey, Greg, this has been something to watch. Let's go through some of these highlights. Touchdown after touchdown after touchdown. And this is one of those games where dreams are a reality, Mike, and you just can't ever predict when you're going to have a game like today where just every play call, every ball that you throw, every option that you have downfield is wide open and productive. It's, it's pretty incredible the ability for them to continue to have their way with this defense because barring some sort of change from this secondary where they come up with some answers, I don't even think they're done scoring just yet. 
On first down, Jones. Taken in right side by the tight end, Johnson. And he is out of bounds on the other side of midfield. What a way to kick off a drive. That's a gain of 30 and another first down. Everyone talks about all the physical qualities to play quarterback in the NFL, Mike, and of course that's a given, but it's really the cerebral approach to the game that separates the best from everybody else. And I think both of those things were on display there as he did not only a great job of finding the vulnerabilities of the back end, but then once his guy was there, it was that arm talent that put the ball in the exact right spot to allow his guy to make the big play. And up until this point, this has been an incredibly efficient game from this quarterback. I mean, it's hard to think here we are in the second half, and that's only his second incomplete pass. So finally, the defense is able to do something to disrupt his timing and finally try to get him out of this groove. A quick throw here on the RPO. It's caught by Johnson. Here's a third and ten. Again, it's Jones. He'll look deep here for Neighbors. Well, not exactly breaking news here, Mike. They got speed on the perimeter that just not a lot of teams in the NFL have. So even though that ball falls incomplete, I think they have to continue to do it, continue to pressure this defense and make them defend the entire field. Because as they're worried about him running by them, there is a lot of space open underneath. So that one's going to land out of bounds, and the official's going to mark it right at the 20-yard line. The commander's offense and Jaden Daniels ready to take over once more. And he has been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been picked apart. That is borne out in those impressive numbers. He has been terrific all game long. The drive begins at the 20. Here's first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Daniel. That's McLaurin open on the left side. And he's going to get this to the 37-yard line. Now, so far here today, putting points on the board certainly hasn't been a problem. And plays like that are why. Think about it, Mike. Sometimes you just have to take what the defense gives you and not force something that's not there. And that mid-range pass results in a fresh set of downs. Line of scrimmage is the 37-yard line for first and 10. Daniels going to keep it on the zone read. And nothing cooking on that one. He'll be met and tackled behind the line of scrimmage. Oftentimes, the more success you have as a quarterback keeping the ball, the more attention that you're going to get from the defense. And I think that's exactly the case here. They've been burned a few times by this guy already today, but this time they were ready for him. A gift, and here comes Robinson. They converge on him quickly. He'll only get a couple. That's Aziz Ojolari in on the tackle. Third and nine. From the shotgun on third down, Daniels. He's over 100 receiving yards on the afternoon now. And a first down to boot. They call this the alley. So it's the area between the hash marks and the numbers. And depending on what defense they're in, there is a lot of space to be had down those seams. So if this defense doesn't make a couple of adjustments, I wouldn't expect this offense to target any other place on this field. Quick throw, taken in. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up. Second and five. The best quarterbacks, Mike, they have an internal clock in their head. How does my protection match up with the rush and the route concept I'm trying to attack downfield? In this case, he's looking downfield, realizes quickly this ball's got to come out, checks it down to his underneath drag, 
picks up what he can. Here's Robinson. And he'll manage to pick up about four. That's Bobby Okereke there for the stop. Third and a yard. He'll look middle and he's got his man complete. And he's going to have the first down. So they convert on third down with a pickup of nine. When you decide to throw the ball on third and one, typically, Mike, what you're doing is you start from the top down. If you have the big shot downfield, take it. If not, the quarterback works through his progression, finds the medium target, picks up a first down. On the option, here's Robinson. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. Finding yourself down here, multiple scores in the second half. The defense is going to give you some friendly run looks. So don't be afraid to mix it in there. But if you're going to find yourself coming back from this deficit, you're going to have to do it primarily through the air with just a little bit of mix of the run. Eckler now on first and ten. He'll get four and down inside the 20-yard line. Here's a second and six. It's a give up the middle to Robinson. And there's defense up to the task there. Gain of just two, and it's third down. Working out of the gun, it's Daniel. And this is going to be incomplete. That is great work there, making things difficult defensively. It'll set up a fourth down. That was a perfectly timed hit, and I think it actually saved six points, Mike. He got there just as the ball did, and I think it was the contact that separated him from the ball. He is two for two. That kick is good and the commanders are able to put up three and cut into the lead and when you find yourself down double digits you don't want to make habit of settling for these field goals it does allow them to chip away a little bit and cut into this deficit but they've got to find a way to score touchdowns So here's Seibert, made the field goal a moment ago, and now we'll kick this one away. This taken in at the eight-yard line, and he is stopped at the 25. The drive will begin then. The Giants offense running back Devin Singletary back on the field, and you have to imagine the defense is saying, how do we stop this guy? He has run roughshod through him to this point in the third quarter. From the 25, they'll go to work. First and 10. Throwing now is Jones. He'll get that complete right side. It's Bellinger. And he'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. It's not the big play they were hoping for, but first down efficiency, staying ahead of the chains, is what every offense is trying to find, and it brings up a manageable second down. Second and seven. Jones keeping this one. And no place to go, no place to hide. He's taken down behind the line. The decision whether to keep the ball or to hand it to the back happens so fast. In this case, the quarterback thinks it was a keep read. The defense was there ready to stop him. Tackle for loss. Throwing is Jones on third down. 
And he wisely hit the deck at the end of that one. No unnecessary shot there. It is a first down. That one good for 15 and a first down. These are the plays that are just crushing for a defense. Here you are. You think you're about to make a big stop, force fourth down, and get the football back. But instead, you let the quarterback get loose. He picks up the first down with his legs. And now you got to defend a fresh set of downs. They'll run. It's Singletary. And the D closes quickly. He stopped after a gain of a yard. Johnny Newton, rookie out of Illinois, there to bring him down. Here's second and nine. Again, it's Singletary. And a good tackle out wide. We'll hold them to a gain of just three. Here's third and seven. They'll motion their tight end, Johnson. There's that man again. Another catch. Seemed to me, Mike, before that ball was even snapped, the quarterback had already made up his mind. I'm throwing the ball to the tight end no matter what the look is. And he's counting on the big body picking up the rest after the catch. And even though he's able to secure the ball, nice job by the defense keeping him short of the sticks. And no chance to turn up feet. He's forced out of bounds after a very short return the visitors offense and their quarterback headed out for their next possession and he's had it going in the first half really had his way with the secondary they have been powerless to stop him now they're trying to keep it going first and ten Here's Daniels. He's got his tight end. There's Ertz. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. They'll come up on a second down and eight. Throwing now. Daniels. He'll get that to Zacchaeus. And he'll be taken down up around the 32-yard line. Whatever they've talked about in the locker room at the halftime break seems to have worked. They've come out with a new established energy. You could see it when they took the field. Now this offense seems to be building on it because with that chunk play, just a little bit of rhythm that they can build off of. they got a long way to go to get back into this game, but so far off to a good start. Daniels now on first down. That into the hands of Zacchaeus. And he'll be tackled up around the 45-yard line. These curl routes. He's been running these routes since he was a young kid in Pop Warner football. And I like to call it pulling the string. You've got the defender thinking you're going downfield and you stick that foot in the ground. Work back to the quarterback, friendly to the ball, and really nice job picking up the first down. And that one is closed down in the backfield. What a defensive play. Knifing in, dropping him for the loss. You have to wonder if next time, does the play caller give his quarterback some options to check out of this play? It was clear before the ball was snapped. This was not a great look for that play call, and you can see the end result. Another run here for Robinson. And he's going to be swallowed up again. Back-to-back -back runs, back-to-back -back losses. Now it is third down. When you can get this level of run support out of your secondary, Mike, man, what an advantage for any defense. This defensive back clearly reads run, gets off his block, and he's able to take down the back for a loss of yards. Third and long, and here's Daniels. Now pass deep for McLaurin. That is caught! And he will go all the way. Terry McLaurin 
Touchdown, Commanders. Two touchdowns for him now on the afternoon. Well, it seems this game is kind of getting to the point, Mike, where it's defense optional. I mean, both these teams are really just having their way with their opponent. They're going up and down the field. And after this long touchdown, yes, this is great if you're a fantasy player, but it's not so great if you're a defensive coordinator. Now, a two-point conversion attempt coming. They'll go play action here with Daniels. That's going to wind up incomplete. They try for two, and it does not pan out. Anytime you fail on a two-point try, there's always going to be second-guessing about whether that was the right play call. In this case, they decided to throw the ball, which I like. They just need better execution, and they end up coming up a little short. Seibert now following the touchdown. He's out to kick it away. From the six, here comes a return. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Giants offense and their running back getting ready to go back to work. The lead is five as they're going to start with this first down. In motion, it's Robinson. Right away, they'll try a jet sweep. Uh, they didn't fool anyone. Tried the speed, but did not get back to the line of scrimmage. Lost one on the last play, so now it's second and 11. Sending a receiver right. Now a play fake. Jones. And he'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. So defensively, there's always the initial pass coverage plan. And then when that breaks down and the quarterback goes into scramble mode, how fast can you then move on to the second phase and what they call plaster, meaning find the nearest receiver and almost play a man-to-man. -man. And it's exactly what they did here. And there was nowhere for the ball to go. And he's forced to just throw it away. The man right side he's got it and he'll be taken down all the way up past the 45 he's got a touchdown on the books from earlier and that catch gets him a first down so no shortage of offense in this one as we end the third We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL on EA Sports. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Here's Jones. A short one there to Bellinger. And they'll get about half of what they needed it's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. Well, let's give some credit to the big boys up front in the trenches. They knew that blitz was coming. They held up just long enough that the quarterback could get that ball out safely and results in a completion. Jones, going to hang on to it here. Nice job by the defense. They had that one well read from the beginning, Mike. Someone's responsible for the running back. But the key here was the defender responsible for the quarterback. Stays with him, keeps him to a short game. Here's a third down and four. They'll motion their tight end, Johnson. 
He's going to find his receiver. It's Robinson. And he's going to have the first down. It is a gain of six. Good conversion on third down. At this point in the game, Mike, it really starts coming down to the number of possessions. So that's a huge first down conversion. Fresh set of downs. Now, the balance is stay aggressive and maintain the ball, but also start working this clock. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Up until that incompletion, they've done a really nice job on this drive, Mike, picking up fresh sets of downs. And typically, throwing the ball on first down is a great way to do it. But now they find themselves in second and 10. Do you keep it in the air and try to get the first down here? Or is the idea to just make third down manageable and take your chances picking up a key third down? A game there of 10 yards. That's good for a Giants first down. And this running game has really been rolling, Mike, all game long. The holes, the run lanes, they've been there consistently. Here's another nice run as they look to put this game away. They'll try the zone read on first and ten. And he maneuvers his way forward, a gain of six. Good decision by the quarterback. In this situation, all you're looking to do is have a positive play. He decides to pull it, and that's exactly what he's able to do. They'll come up now for second down and four. On play action, it's Jones. Oh, the blitz gets there quickly, and down he goes. Outside of a turnover, this was probably the worst-case scenario. Immediate pressure in his face with nowhere to go with the ball downfield. Just get the ball out of your hand. Live to play another down. Instead, he retreats backwards and leads to a massive loss. Work to do following the sack. It is third and long. Shotgun now for Jones. This one is taken in downfield. Big completion. And he's into the end zone. That might be the knockout punch. Malik Neighbors. Touchdown, New York. That is second touchdown of the afternoon. Here's Joseph now for the extra point. His kick is good. And the Giants will open it up even further here in this fourth quarter. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. The commander's offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been successful. He just processes things so quickly, making the right read, seemingly every time. Set to go now on first and 10. And that's going to wind up incomplete. He decides to go with this safe throw and throws it well short of the sticks and at this level, Mike, you just can't miss layups like that. 
He'll try again here. Second and ten. Operating from the gun, it's Daniels. A ah, fine work defensively. That's going to be knocked away. And go down as an incomplete. Well, that's two straight plays now where this secondary has won their matchup. And right now the offense needs to find some plays that just call for easy completions. Get your wide receivers in space. Allow them to run after the catch. Because right now these downfield passes, the defense is all over them. That's over the middle and taken in. He's got it. A gain of 17 yards. First down, Washington. And this is a tricky part of the game for any defense. You find yourself protecting a late lead. And the age-old question is, do you remain aggressive? Do you try to just keep the ball from being thrown over your head and make everything be tackled and played in front of you? That's what every defensive coordinator struggles with, so they can't get too soft here as they try to hold on to this lead here late. His throw on first down is going to be incomplete. Anytime you see a receiver at this level miss a ball that easy, it's just concentration. They just take it for granted. All of a sudden, they're thinking about what their next move is or what they're going to do after the catch. And instead of just focusing on first things first, secure the catch, put the ball away, then become a runner. To the air again is Daniels. That's caught downfield. McLaurin brings it in. And they're going to move this ball inside the 25-yard line. The only way the quarterback has time to allow that receiver to go that far is if the big boys up front do their job. I mean, the protection was excellent. The quarterback had all the time in the world to let his wide receiver work open. And when you can pass protect like that, you're going to generate a lot of big plays. Off the play fake, here's Daniels. That is caught. What a throw. Zach Ertz. Touchdown, Washington. Greg, they are pecking away at this one now. Very big touchdown. Gets them right within reach of pulling this comeback off. Well, Mike, at the very least, they've given themselves a chance. But can they get a stop and get the ball back again for a chance to go down and really make this one interesting? Seibert out now for the extra point. He's got it. And the Commanders have cut the deficit to five. So, things a little more interesting now. Back to a one-score game as they kick it away. He fields it at the 8. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. Malik Neighbors heading out with the Giants offense for their next possession. They'll try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and 10. Working from the gun, it's Jones. To the outside, complete to Johnson. Defense does a nice job here initially using zone coverage to take away the middle of the field. That's the most valuable real estate in football. Quarterback gets off his first read, sees some openings to the sideline, and him and his receiver are able to connect. Motion man, set right. They'll run straight ahead with Singletary. And he's bottled up after a gain of a yard. Oh, 
Now a third and two. He'll try and run for the first with Singletary. And he will have a Giants first down by about a yard. So they pick it up on third and two. They'll go back to Singletary on first down. And a nice run there on first down, getting eight. Setting up second and two. run once more with Singletary. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. Fourth quarter, you find yourself protecting a one possession lead. It's a fine line, Mike, between do I keep the ball on the ground, continue to work the clock, or stay aggressive, try to extend this lead to a multiple possession game. That's the balance this play caller is dealing with right now. In motion, it's Robinson. Jones now on first down. Now a short one caught by the tight end, Johnson. Give him 15 more on that one. They are on the move. It's a first down. A lot could go wrong anytime you decide to put the ball in the air here late in the fourth quarter as you're trying to run out the clock and protect this lead. But at the same time, I like that they haven't gone super conservative. Just hand off right, hand off left and it just turns into tackling practice. So I like the balance of making the defense defend everything because right now, possess the ball, protect the ball, and ultimately just run the clock out. And they're gonna be set up now as he's brought down at the five yard line. Big time completion right there. And this isn't just a spot where they're trying to run the game out here in the fourth quarter. They were not only trying to pick up points, but they're trying to get in the end zone and extend this lead. So, really nice job here late. We're going to see if they can put this one out of reach. From the gun, it's Jones. And this is too far over the end line. It's incomplete. They let a golden opportunity slip away on that one. That's the matchup that they wanted. They just couldn't quite capitalize on it. Another one from the five, second down, and goal. Now, a handoff to Singletary. And he's into the end zone. That might be the knockout punch. Devin Singletary, touchdown, New York. He had the touchdown catch earlier. This time, he takes it in on the ground. Everything you want to do right there, Greg, in the fourth quarter, get the ball with the lead and extend it to a two-score advantage. Yeah, and I think this just might end up being too much to overcome. You said it. Once you get a two-score lead this late in the fourth quarter, there's just not enough possessions to be had to claw yourself back in it. Joseph's extra point, up and good. And the Giants tack on one more to their lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Here's Eckler on the return. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The commander's offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And he has been masterful so far leading this offense, keeping the mistakes to a minimum on point with his passes Generally, one step ahead of the defense all game long. They'll break the huddle, 
Coming up now for first and ten. They'll stick to the ground. And he's fighting to try to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not do it. This is going to be a loss of a yard. Well, they try to get the run game started here early on this drive, Mike, and they're just going to have to do a better job up front. There's really nowhere for this ball carrier to go. You never want to lose yards on first down, but that's exactly the case here. Daniels to throw on second down. He's got his man on the in route. Yes, taken in over the middle. And they'll be set up now. Up past the 40 with that one. Things certainly look a little improbable right now, Mike, but I wouldn't say impossible. I think they've got to capitalize on this possession to pick up some points. Every single possession right now is priceless. Points, possessions, and then they got to get some defensive stops. To throw is Daniels on first and 10. And that ball out of reach toward the sideline. It'll be an incompletion. Luke McCaffrey, the intended receiver. And it'll bring up second down. Working out of the gun, it's Daniels. A very quick throw there, but not on the same page with his target. That's incomplete. It seemed there was a bit of a busted coverage in the secondary, and I think that's what led that receiver to be so wide open. And That's a ball that just needs to be put on him. It doesn't have to be a perfect throw. It doesn't have to be thrown on the money. Just make it catchable and take advantage of that opportunity. He'll try and get there on the ground. And he's going to be brought down, but not until he gets inside the 35. You certainly can't fault the secondary here. The coverage was almost too good downfield on third down. The quarterback realized quickly there was nowhere for him to go with the ball, decides to become a runner. He's able to pick up the first down and some. Gets it away quickly, and it's caught. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. Here's second and six. From the shotgun, it's Daniels. That is going to be... Paul in, he's got it. Olamide Zacchaeus. Touchdown, Commanders. So add another touchdown and touchdown pass for that matter. He has thrown six already in this one. Amazing stuff. Here's Seibert now for the point after. It's up and through. And the commanders have cut the deficit to five. So, things a little more interesting now. Back to a one-score game as they kick it away. Tracy now to return it. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Giants offense and their running back set to go once more. And he has put in a full game's work and then some. Just an incredible performance on the ground to this point. 
in the fourth quarter. They'll come up here first and ten. They'll give it to Singletary to begin this drive. He'll struggle to get back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe gets a yard out of that one. It's second down. Play action now. It's Jones. He's going to keep it himself. And will mark him down just shy of the 40. You know, Mike, I like everything about this play except the very end. You've already picked up good yardage. You've already picked up the first down. Now get down on the ground and protect yourself. There's no reason to take those shots. So from the 39, they come up on first and 10. Here's Jones to throw. Open man downfield. That's neighbor. He's got another one. Malik Neighbors. Touchdown, Giants. He has come alive after the break. His third touchdown of the second half. So that will tie the NFL record that has stood for more than 70 years. Seven touchdown passes in one game. First done by Sid Luckman with the Bears in 1943. And then Adrian Burke of the Eagles in 1954. We've waited a long time. Now they have company. On is Joseph for the extra point. It's up and good. And the Giants are able to extend the lead. The kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away returning is Igbenogany he'll get this up to the 28 yard line nice place for the drive to start the commander's offense and Terry McLaurin heading out onto the field and he's looking to finish strong he has been unquestionably the star of the show as they have just absolutely had no answer on the defensive side of the ball Here's first and ten. Now Daniels. A throw left side, but it's incomplete. They're lucky to have avoided this mistake here, Mike. In the fourth quarter, with possessions running out, that would have been a critical backbreaking play in this game. And they're going to have second life now after that defender drops the ball. And let's see if they can take advantage of it. We'll try again. It's second and ten. Throwing is Daniels. Pass downfield. Is caught by Brown. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. These wide outside the number throws. This is where a quarterback really gets to show off his arm strength and arm talent. This puts a ton of pressure on the defense because now they say, all right, we have to defend every single blade of grass. He'll get that to Zacchaeus. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. They'll work now on second and four. Daniels going to throw again to the outside, into the hands of McLaurin. And he'll be out of bounds, but after picking up the first down on a gain of seven. 
out breaking routes Mike especially outside of the numbers everything is about the timing if you're late with the throw you're going to be watching that defensive back take that thing the other way for six throwing again Daniel he runs with it and they'll finally run him down but he takes it inside the 10 yard line at this point, it just gets frustrating for the defense, right? I mean, you've been watching this guy make big play after big play all game long, not only on the quarterback-designed runs, but it's the scrambles that can really break the back of the defense, and we saw it again here. First and goal. The quarterback thinks he's got a shot to take this one in himself. I think he's just a little late in his reaction and decision to turn into a runner. Defense has just enough time to get there. They stop him short of the end zone. Second and goal. From the one, second and goal. Here's Daniel. And he will score. Game on. Jaden Daniels. Touchdown, Washington. The defense comes up with the coverage, but they cannot keep up with the speed as the quarterback scrambles to the end zone for the touchdown. And down here in the red zone, Mike, is where I think a quarterback's legs can be the most dangerous. The defenders are trying to match backs, match tight ends and receivers, but often it's the quarterback that has no one assigned to him, and in this case, he's able to capitalize and run it in himself. Seibert out now for the extra point. He's got it. And the commanders have cut the deficit to five. So, things a little more interesting now. Back to a one-score game as they kick it away. This one taken at the seven. Good return here. Brings it up to the 33-yard line. So now, out comes the offense, led by their quarterback as they take over once again. And you get a look at the numbers, they don't even tell the whole story. This has been a tremendous performance to this point. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. The drive starts with a carry by Singletary. And he'll manage to get this ahead for a pickup of five. So two minutes left to play in the second half. We'll come back and finish this one off. After this, they'll break the huddle. It's second and five. Here comes Singletary running right. Here's a run with their tight end. And now at 152, the defense will pull the plug there as they take a timeout. Third and long. On third down, here's Singletary. Now a timeout here by Washington. That is their second. They'll be disappointed there after giving up the first down.
They'll try the left side with Singletary. And he surges forward for a gain of about five. Now the Commanders will use their third and final timeout. And they'll get together prior to the second down play. second down it's Singletary and the tackle is going to be made down at the 40 yard line this is the moment in the game Mike where it really matters to have a run game you find yourself winning here late you want to try to run the clock out and finish with the ball and boy do they ever give credit to this offensive line and running back they came through when their team needed them the most The defense still with all three timeouts at their disposal as the quarterback's down to a knee. So it's a win for the men in blue. The Giants get it done. This was a game where both offenses were up and down the field, marching the ball at will, matching each other point for point. But in the end, they got a few more defensive stops than their opponents did. And that was the difference in this one.